Here at Apple World Today, we love doing reviews of things that work with Apple HomeKit. And today we're looking at the KuGeek Smart Socket, otherwise known as the SK1. And as the box here says, it can turn your light bulb into a smart bulb. As you can see, the smart socket here pretty much just looks like a, uh, well, almost like a light bulb of some sort. Basically what you do is screw this uh, device into a light socket, then screw a light bulb into the top of it and uh, go through the pairing uh, process with HomeKit. And then uh, from any HomeKit enabled device like an iPhone or iPad, you can go ahead and actually control the light bulb, turning it on or off. Looking at this outside of the box, you can see that there's a little power switch on the side. Uh, that's if you happen to want to do uh, manual control of a light. That's also useful during the pairing process when you should have the device turned on. Now, as you can see, this is a US standard light bulb socket. Uh, some information on the side. Uh, this was actually made in China. And uh, once again, we have one of those HomeKit codes that I'm not going to show you that allows you to uh, easily pair the device simply by pointing a HomeKit compatible app at the individual tag there. Now, in this case, I've decided that I'm going to go ahead and uh, I put one of these Philips LED light bulbs uh, into this, basically just screwed it in. And this is going to be used to control a light that is uh, actually outside my house on the front porch. Normally, I just keep that light on uh, burning 24 hours a day, but this will give me a chance to actually write a script and have it uh, turn on at sunset and turn off at sunrise. Here we're looking at the home app as it appears on an iPad mini. We tap the plus sign, add accessory, and then we wait for the accessory to show up on the list. There it is, KuGeek Socket AA something. I want to uh, enter the code manually so I can hide it from you guys. And I'm going to go ahead and type it in here. Also, you can just uh, point the camera at the code and it will automatically pair. And there it goes through and actually does its pairing. Device has been added and we can see that there is a firmware update available for it. I'll have to handle that later. Hit done. Uh, one of the other things I want to do is actually uh, cr create a different room. I want to call it front porch because that's where this bulb will be. And then they also like it uh, if you put an image on there. I, I'm not going to run out and take one real quick here, so I'll use one of the room wallpapers that's already available and we'll set that. Hit save, and I've got my new accessory all nicely loaded. Now I can look at this and then tap front porch light bulb to turn it off, turn it back on. That little exclamation point on there indicates that there is a firmware up update available. And if I tap uh, the information here, it comes up and says you're going to have to do that from the KuGeek app. Now I'm also going to set up an automation here. I'm going to create new automation, tap that. And what I want to do is uh, have the light turn on at sunset every day. And I want to turn it off at sunrise. So I tap sunset. I want to repeat every day. I scroll down to my front porch light bulb and tap that, tap next, and basically at sunset daily I want the front porch light bulb to turn on. Now I'm going to need to do the same thing for sunrise. At, at sunrise, let's tap on that, every day I want to have the front porch light bulb, I'm going to do a press and hold there, and I'm going to turn it off and a tap done. And that's my automation. So now it'll uh, go on at sunset, turn off at sunrise. Visit us on the web at appleworld.today for more news, reviews, and how-tos from the world of Apple. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash c slash appleworldtoday.